Hey folks, it's James here from Fox and the Bear. It's been a while since our last video, I know. I want to say thank you to everyone for the most overwhelming response on that video. It's had far more views than we ever imagined and the love on it has been amazing, so thank you again. Although, however, we have noticed a few comments saying that people are having trouble, they've purchased the printer and they're having trouble installing the drivers and get it printing. So we're here to fix that today and hopefully we can do just that. So I'm gonna walk you through how to download the drivers, how to install them and how to get yourself printing. So in the previous video, I did actually put the drivers for the printer in the description. I'm gonna put them in this description, in the description of this video as well, so that they're easy to find. But if you go back to the video that we previously recorded or just scroll down you'll find the drivers in there so you can simply click that link and you'll be taken to a google drive link that i've set up it's as simple as downloading that file i'm going to save ours to the desktop as you can see i've already downloaded this once so that will download a zip file for you once that's downloaded unzip that with whatever software you use and save it where you're going to remember where it's gone so if you find the location where you saved it, you'll see the folder that has unzipped and inside that folder, you'll find there is a Mac OS folder and a Windows. So whichever you're using, go to the correct one. For us, we're using Mac. And inside that, you'll, you'll find that there is in fact uh, how to install the label driver, but we're just gonna walk you through it now ourselves. It's much easier, much quicker to follow. So as you can see, I've already unzipped this file for you. So here you have the label DMG file. In this folder, we want to select the PKG file on the right. Now, when you click this file, you will be faced with this pop-up window here that says that this file cannot be opened because it is from an unidentified developer. Now, I wanna say that you do this next bit at your own risk. I've done this and I've not had any issues so far and hopefully never, but I want to reiterate that you do this next part at your own risk. So of course, when you click the okay, that's gonna stop the whole process. So what you wanna do is you wanna open up system preferences and you wanna find your security and privacy. In here, you'll see a section that says this file was blocked from use because it is not from an identified developer, but we want to open this anyway. So if you click this button here and close that window if you need to, you'll find that the installation of this file will go ahead anyway. So if you go through and install, just use my fingerprint, Right, so we're installing and installation was successful. So, great, what now? So if you go to your spotlight and go to your system preferences, mine's already loaded up printer, but if you, if you don't know where it is, you'll be shown this window here. And if you click printers and scanners in there, you will find the printers that you have or haven't set up. I've already got this printer set up, so I'm gonna delete it just to show you how. Yes, delete. So it's simple, make sure that your printer is plugged into your laptop and the power is on. Mine is, so I'm gonna click this plus here to add a new printer. And you'll see here that the label 9X100 has appeared here and it's plugged in via USB. So we'll click that. So here is where we'll find our driver. So if we click here and click select software, because we have that DMG file that we downloaded earlier it should appear in this list so as you can see here I've got label so if we select that and click OK that is it that is it added to the printer so you add this it will set up the device and you should be good to go so let's do a random test on this it's obviously not what we're going to print but if we go to a new tab Google file print in here you can see we have the label 9x100 is showing on our list In here, you'll be able to select all your different sizes, but of course we've got our four by six labels in there. And yeah, it's as simple as that. I really hope this video has helped you for all those people having issues with setting up. It is, it's a simple process, but again, if you have any problems, please do not be afraid to message us. We will be more than happy to help wherever we can. And again, I really hope this helped and thank you. Thank you so much for the response in our previous video. We really appreciate it and we've got lots more coming. So please be on the lookout. Give us a like and subscribe. Thank you.